What's up, peeps? Thanks for clicking on the video. If it's your first time here at the channel, we cover the backstories of comic book characters, especially those coming to, or rumored to be coming to, live action. So click on that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of your favorite comic book characters' backstories. Let's get straight into today's video and find out who is the Patriot. The Patriot's true name is Elijah Bradley. Elijah is the grandson of Isaiah Bradley, the Black Captain America. Eli's mother, Sarah Bradley, had several children. When she remarried, Eli was in his junior year of high school and she didn't want to move him, so she left him with his grandparents. Eli was jumped by some local kids and Isaiah defended his grandson. Eli was amazed at what his grandfather did to them so easily. Eli really wanted to be able to carry on his grandfather's legacy. When Iron Lad came to the family home searching for his uncle, Josiah X, to recruit him, Eli told him Josiah hadn't been around for over a year and lied, telling Iron Lad that he had super soldier powers due to a blood transfusion from his grandfather. So they invited Eli to join the team. Secretly, Eli raided drug houses, taking down drug dealers, but he would steal MGH, mutant growth hormone, so he could have powers. The team was eventually dubbed the Young Avengers by the press. Eli had a natural ability to lead and became the leader of the Young Avengers. After the Young Avengers defeated Kang the Conqueror, they shortly disbanded at the requests of Iron Man and Captain America. After only a couple of weeks, Kate Bishop convinced them to come back. At one point, Eli had run out of MGH and went to steal more. Unfortunately, the spotty hit was run by the superhuman drug chemist, Mr. Hyde. Eli had missed a team meeting, which was out of character for him, so the others were looking for him and showed up just in time to save him. As the Young Avengers battled Mr. Hyde, Eli went and injected himself with MGH, but Wiccan saw him. After Mr. Hyde was defeated and the Patriot's secret exposed, he was embarrassed and ashamed. He told the Young Avengers and Captain America he was sorry for lying and that he was quitting the team. Soon after, the Young Avengers showed up, trying to convince him to stay on the team, but he wouldn't relent. But before he could bounce, the Super Scroll showed up and tried to take Hulkling. The Kree then showed up for Hulkling as well. As the Young Avengers held off the Kree and the Scroll, the Avengers showed up to try and mediate the hostilities. After they came to an impasse, the Kree opened fire and Patriot jumped in front of Captain America to shield him from the fire. Patriot was severely wounded and sent to the hospital. When the hostilities were wrapped up, Captain America rushed to the hospital to give Patriot a blood transfusion, but Isaiah had beat him to the punch and was already there giving him one. Eli recovered, and due to the blood transfusion, he now had true super soldier powers. Patriot now had peak human strength, speed, durability, healing factor, agility, stamina, and reflexes. He is immune to disease, and his aging has been slowed. Eli then retook his position as the leader of the Young Avengers. When the superhuman Civil War jumped off, Patriot and the Young Avengers were arrested by S.H.I.E.L.D. for refusing to register. They were rescued by Captain America and the Falcon and taken to the Secret Avengers base. Patriot has gone on to many more adventures with the Young Avengers. Now we've already seen the Patriot in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. Will he be the leader of the MCU version of the Young Avengers? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.